Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a movie review on, on the new Nickelodeon movie, which just came out on, on Wednesday. And of course, I, I just got back from I, I just I just got back from seeing it like like a few a couple hours ago. And I, and I'm back at the condo to review it. And today's movie review is going to be on the new the new TMNT film. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. Yep, this is my this is my ticket to, to the movie at Fox Gold Coast. And in, in my last in my last Fox Gold Coast movie review, I forgot to show I forgot to show the ticket of, uh, uh, on my last on my last like like you know my 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 other like you know Fox Gold Coast movie review that I saw there. Like I I forgot to show the ticket like last time, but obviously that that doesn't really matter. Most of you guys out there don't even care because. Because you guys already know that, that I saw it. So, and yeah, so this review is on TMNT Mutant Mayhem. I'll just set the ticket right here. Make sure I don't lose it. So, <clears throat> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is directed by Jeff Rowe and is produced by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg and was released by Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon Movies. So last year, Nickelodeon movies like that released that technically they released them. Paul's the Legend of Hank, which I heard was disappointing, and I never seen it, and I never will, since I heard it was crap. But then, but then after seeing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, well, first of all, let me let me explain the story here. For, for, first of all, so in Mutant Mayhem, we follow the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles after years of of being sheltered from the human world. The Turtle Brothers, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course. The, the, the Turtle Brothers set out to win the hearts of the New Yorkers and be accepted by normal by, as normal teenagers. And their new friend April O'Neil helps them to, helps them take on a mysterious crime syndicate. But they soon get get in over their he heads when 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 an army of, of mutants is unleashed upon them. And and together, you know, April O'Neil and the and, and and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all together. They have to do whatever they can to try and stop Superfly, and who's basically, you know, the main, the, technically, like, you know, the main villain of the film, Superfly. So, yeah, and of course, we got ourselves a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film with, with the animation styles, uh, with the animation style of, of the the Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, including Into the Spider Verse, including, including other animated films we've seen before that had that had, that had similar animation styles like this. So, as for my thoughts on the film, I, I, I was actually pretty interested in checking out this film since the other two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles films I saw in theaters were the ones with Megan Fox. The ones that came out in 2014 and 2016, which were the 2014 TMNT, as well as Out of the Shadows, which came out in 2016. I remember seeing those two movies in the theaters with my Uncle Charles, and, and, and this is actually my third TMNT film I saw in theaters. I actually saw it by myself since I, I had no one no one to see it with me since I'm back I'm I'm back here in Ocean City, Maryland right now for just for the weekend before before I hit before I start my first day at Cinemark back at home. But yeah, so <clears throat> as how does the movie play out? The movie actually played out to be like a whole lot of fun because th this movie was actually awesome. This movie was actually it was super awesome. It was a whole lot of fun. It also it also had some pretty funny humor as well. Well, I do admit some of the jokes, some of the jokes here were were just thrown in, thrown in at your face, and they were just like very predictable. That's my only flaw about this film. Some of the jokes are pretty pre predictable, but but that doesn't take away the fact that this movie was super awesome because I actually enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed this movie a lot, and, and just like in the other in the other recent animated films we've seen that had similar animation styles like that that were in this film. The animation styles and visuals were were actually were absolutely amazing. Like the animation styles was was super cool and amazing. It's it's kind of like one of one of those animated films where it reminds you of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse and Across the Spider Verse. Yeah, Disney's also doing it for for, for their new movie for their new hundredth anniversary animated film Wish. Yeah, because because Wish Wish is also gonna have those those similar animation styles where it's like the mixture of hand drawn animation while at the same time computer animation, where the, the movie kind of plays out almost almost like a comic. Of course, it's 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 kind of like almost like a comic book film a little bit since it's kind of like you know the animation styles like the way the way they were actually drawn and the way that it was handled in this film. 
Yeah, because the anime because the animation and the visuals were amazing and they were super cool, and oh yeah, and even even the the voice acting itself I thought was great. The voice like every, like everyone everyone did, actually did a great job in this film. I gotta say Seth Rogen was actually very funny in this film. Seth Rogen, Jackie Chan was also in the film too. I yeah, Jackie Chan was great, and oh and Brandy Noon from Good Boys who plays Raphael. Like I thought Brandy Noon actually did great as Raphael. Yeah, Brandy Noon from Good Boys. Yeah, because Ice Cube is also in the film too, and Ice Cube, like, he, he was great in this film. And John Cena, as well as, um, oh yeah, and Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne, who was recently in the Bluey episode as, as Chili's sister, Brand like, Chili Heal Healer's sister, Brandy, in, in the episode one sees from Bluey. Yeah, and of course, you know, Rose Byrne is also in the Insidious films, and, but, I, but, but I just love Rose Byrne. And you know, because Rose Byrne is actually one of one of my new favorite actresses, and you know, she was great in the film too, because because the voice acting itself was great uh, as usual for this film, because it's got lots of talented actors that I know who is in this film, who are in this film. Yeah, excuse that. And and yeah, because even the atmosphere itself it was actually it was actually pretty very very cool, and it was also it gives you those like cool like atmosphere uh, atmosphere vibes where it's like where the way the way the way New York City was animated. Even there's like a lot of product placements as well, inc including some including some scenes that actually have some live action scenes from other films. I mean, I'm not going to spoil those since I, I don't want to go into like full detail about this film. But yeah, and so. Oh yeah, and plus, and plus, last year on Netflix there was a there was a there was a TMNT animated film called Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie that actually came out on Netflix last year. From that actually came out on Netflix last year. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, and, and I gotta say this movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem was actually one one of the, is actually the best TMNT film in years, and this and it's also one of my new favorite animated films of the year as well. My other favorite animated films of the year include the Super Mar the Super Mario Brothers movie, another movie with with Seth Rogen, Mario, as well as um, Pixar's Elemental, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, as well as the Netflix animated film Nimona. And yeah, because I I didn't I actually didn't review Nimona. If if you want to hear my thoughts on Nimona, I actually really really loved M Nimona, like the the new Netflix animated film Nimona that had Chloe Grace Mortez and. And, and technically, it was it, technically it, 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 technically production at, on Nomona was actually completed at Blue Sky Studios, just seventy five percent completed Blue Sky Studios until Netflix was able to finish it. But yeah, Nomona was Nomona is one of my one of my favorite animated films of the year, including this one, TMNT Mutant Mayhem. Yeah, so because I I I liked every every single thing about this movie. It was, it was like an awesome film Ex except for like some of the jokes were just thrown in your face and they were just like and they were just like pre predictable but but aside from that TMNT Mutant Mayhem was an awesome funny and a lot of fun movie yeah and I gotta say Nickelodeon movies really stepped up their game when they released this film they really I think Nickelodeon movies really stepped up their game after after last year they released Pause of Fury which I never really saw and I never will but yeah, so oh, bless you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, ignore that. So anyway, overall, Team and Team Mutant Mayhem was a, an awesome movie and one of my new favorite animated films of the year. And I'm gonna give Team and Team Mutant Mayhem four and a half out of five stars. If you're a Team and Team fan and if you haven't seen it yet, then I say I recommend checking out this movie. And the previews I got in front of and the previews I got in front of in front of Team and Team Mutant Mayhem include Wish, Wonka, Blue Beetle, and The Marvels. Yeah, two, the last two previews were superhero films from from the DCU and the MCU, while the first two previews were mostly like a Warner Brothers preview as well as a, a Disney animated preview. Yeah. And yeah, the. Me yeah, Meg Two: The Trench also comes out today as well, which I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to see it or something like that because I I'm not sure if I will be able to see Meg Two: The Trench, but maybe maybe I might still see it maybe maybe sometime next week, but who knows? I'll just keep you guys updated and I'll just like and we'll just see what comes up. Yeah, we'll look into it. 
But aside from all that, TMNT Mutant Mayhem was, an, was a fun movie. I had a lot of fun with this movie, and I recommend it. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for my movie review on, you know, I just said it a lot of times, TMNT. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying, Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.